Most web applications are built to scale horizontally. Horizontal scaling is a simple, proven way to deliver high availability. Unfortunately, most applications also have session state. For example, in a hotel booking application, a user will log in, search for a hotel, then proceed to book the hotel before logging out. The hotel search and booking process is a stateful workflow that spans several screens and takes several minutes to complete. When we scale an application like this horizontally, a hardware failure will result in a loss of user session state, even though we have plenty of server capacity to support the booking process. The system failure will kick the user out of the system, force the user to log back on into the system and repeat the booking process steps from scratch. For some applications, this user kickout event isn't a big deal, but most web applications require a seamless failover of in-flight workflows in the case of a hardware failure. With Gemfire, we can add HTTP session management to any web application, and we can enable session management without making any changes to our application. The first step involves downloading the session management module for TC Server. We will download the module from springsource.com and save it to our local system. The session management module is packaged as a TC Server template, and to install this template, we will unzip the module in the Templates folder of TC Server. After extracting the file, we will see two new templates, one for peer-to-peer -peer and another for client-server session management. The difference between the two types of management is documented on our website. For the purpose of this demo, we will assume that the proper template is the Gemfire P2P template. Now it's time to create two servers that share HTTP session management state. We will use our new Gemfire P2P template in addition to our existing booking application template. TC Server provides a nice template-based mechanism for server provisioning. In this demo, we are using two templates to provision a single server. One template will add session management, and the other will install and configure our hotel booking application. We will run the same command twice and create two servers, vFabric1 and vFabric2. Let's create vFabric1, and now we will create vFabric2. After we create the servers, we will add a Windows service for each server so that we can start and stop them from the Windows Service Control Console. We'll create the service for vFabric1, and then we'll create the service for vFabric2. As you can see, we have two new TC servers, one called vFabric1 and the other vFabric2. We will start the servers and test our hotel booking application. We will start the hotel booking process on vFabric1 and then stop the server in the middle of our workflow and hopefully complete the booking process on vFabric2. We begin by logging in and searching for a hotel. We have selected our hotel and now it's time to book. At this point, we are in the middle of the booking process. Let's stop our current server and test the session management module. The server we were using, vFabric1, is no longer running. We will flip over to vFabric2 to see if we can complete the booking process on that server. It is important to note that in this demo, we are copying the URL from one browser tab to another. In a real failover scenario, the load balancer controls all access to servers and will automatically direct the user from a malfunctioning server to a functional server. As you can see, our workflow state was preserved, and now we can complete the hotel booking process on a different server.